Hey guys, welcome to a new game of Civ 4. Today we're going to be doing Tokugawa Isolation Immortal No Tech Trade. Um, I've done a few of a few games of this category before, um, Isolation Immortal No Tech Trade. They turn out to be very, very tough maps. Um, probably not doable on DD unless you play like a really good leader with a really good land. But um, yeah, we're doing it as Tokugawa, so this is going to be rough because he's one of the weaker leaders. Um, I did one before with Boudicca, that was a very memorable game, very, very challenging, with Big Suri in it, becoming a runaway, every attempt. I'll put a link to that if you're up for something interesting. Um, yeah, so this map was made by Nikki or Nicole. Uh, I've been talking to them in the comments and Discord and stuff. They're a very professional piano player, actually, so that is awesome. Big shout out to them. Check out their channel if you're interested in classical music and stuff. Um, but yeah, they made this map for me and I'm going to play it. Oops, not look at the other sieves. Uh, Henrik. I've played Tokugawa quite a bit lately, but whatever. This is a different kind of category. Last time it was better AI on a Pangea, I think. This time we're doing Isolation Immortal No Tech Trade, so it should be fine. Uh, he's actually really, really fun for me, but personally, I like I like playing him on Immortal. Maybe not so fun on Deity. That's um, torture, but fun to play on Immortal. I think very strong units. The starting techs aren't even that bad, so you don't feel pain and suffering at the start of the game like you do with Charlemagne and Boudicca and stuff. Um, and aggressive is fun. Protective is kind of whatever. So, I think, yeah, aggressive is not too bad. You get better warriors, which means you can fog bust with just warriors usually. Um, get cover promotion, and they can take out archers at, like, 85% odds if you're in a forest fortified or whatever. Um, protective is, yeah, not that useful, unfortunately. I wish there were more uses for this trait, but there's not. But the starting techs aren't too bad, and the uniques are definitely above average, I would say. Um, so this is a maceman... With two first strikes, drill one as well, so two and a half first strikes, and then can get a whole bunch more. And it gets combat one for free because you're aggressive. So pretty buffed up maceman compared to the regular maceman. Like the two and a half first strikes, I don't know, that makes it from eight to ten or something. And then, yeah, you've got combat one as well. So something like that anyway. It's, it's pretty good. So, uh, yeah, I think it's a very, very strong unit. So you can then get City Raider 3 and make them into rifles. And, yeah, pretty nice. Shale Plant is a coal plant that can be built without coal. Does not say um, provides power with coal. It just says provides power, so that's nice. I think it gives an extra plus two unhealthiness at still. I, I don't know, because like a hydro plant doesn't give that extra unhealthiness. I'm not too sure how it works. It might be two health unhealthiness less because you're not using coal. I don't know how it works, to be honest. But we can find out when we get there, I guess. Um, yeah, so the Enix are pretty cool. Oh yeah, and it gives 10% hammers. That's what I was going to say. So even if you don't leverage the fact you build it without coal, you get extra 10% production. So that's a really good building, honestly. I think it's like better than the German one. Um, so yeah, I like I like him a lot. If he had like financial or something instead of protective, dude, he'd be freaking awesome. Okay, so this is the start. <clears throat> Um, nothing special, but, you know, I saw a wet corn and a nice river. This is not too bad. I can work with this. It's more than fine. So, as usual, we want to take our time on the first turn and figure out where I can put my warrior that would change my mind where I'm going to settle. You don't just move your warrior like willy-nilly, aha, uh -huh, let's uncover the most tiles possible. That doesn't help you. 
you want to move him where it's going to impact your turn one settling decision. So I'm thinking of putting them on the hill so I can see what's up here. Like what if there's like another corn right here, for example, right? I'd want to move one north to get it, you know? And I have to go there to see that. Or what if there's... I don't know. That's that's about what I'd see. But yeah. I can go here, but there's like three forests here. Nothing special. But, you know, there could be like a corn right here, for example. Or gems even or something. Because I see jungle, so we better check that. Um, no, nothing down here is really that interesting. Okay, nothing, unfortunately. Uh, so I think that tells me to just stay in place. I get a good amount of river tiles. I've got several hills. I've got the silk as well. Long term, which will be quite nice tiles. Or decent tiles at least. Actually, I think they're weaker than towns, but oh well. Um, resource. They're a town that I don't have to grow at least. Or a village rather, I guess. I don't know. Um, so yeah... I think we settle in place. Boom. Worker first, into agriculture. Just checking the settings, no tech trade, no hot snow events, medium sea level, immortal, it should be a fractal map. Good luck. Alright, thank you. Um, no Mansa. No Hammurabi, otherwise it'd be 26 or 24,000 on the rival best soldiers, because they have their special archer. We need to give the barbs their starting text. I'm gonna... I don't know. Put my camera in the middle of the forests, so I don't reveal too many tiles. Agriculture, hunting, archery, immortal starting text. They are supposed to start with these texts, but the game removes them when you go by a player scenario, sadly. Um, it is what it is. <clears throat> but I go player scenario so I can load Buffy mod and stuff on it, or better AI if I want to play with that. It's very compatible, the world builder saves. I talked about that at the end of my last stream, but um, yeah. Oh yeah, that was a good stream too. Check that out if you haven't. <laughs> That's my best score on Immortal by miles. Okay, anyway, let's play. Um, agriculture. We farm this bastard. And probably put some mines down, I would say. So, Tokugawa is one of the leaders you can actually go really early pottery with. Like, agriculture, bang, pottery. I would do that if I had floodplains and if I was on, like, a plains hill or something. But... I can't justify working bare grassland cottages um, this early. Floodplains cottages are a different story. They're an extra food hammer, which means they help me build workers and settlers faster, right? They have more food, so more hammers into workers and settlers. Floodplain cottages are pretty good, and a mine is only one hammer better than a floodplain cottage, but the cottage gives you a ton of commerce. Um, I did that in another Tokugawa game, I think. I went really early pottery. But this is not a situation that that will work. Um, we won't have enough production if we just cottage straight away. So what I want to do is mine these hills. They're very good tiles. They're on the river. Um, right next to my corn, so I can just go bang bang and mine them both. Which is nice. And then probably bronze working and chop, I would say. Because what I can do is I can chop the forests on the silk and then cottage them and they'd have an extra commerce. It'd be like mini financial cottages, basically. Um, so that would be nice. So I think we'll go for that. I'm going to check out the north with my warrior. Uh, I want to see this river. This peak is unfortunately covered in jungle. Bit of a bummer. Uh, we have stone, but that's a bit... Yeah, I have to settle a complete piece of crap to get that. I don't think the pyramids are that important. They're good, but they're not worth crippling myself to get them. I don't have a whole heap of production, dude. I have, I mean, seven forests, mines, but I don't have, like, plains cow. I mean, I might have a copper tile or something, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. All right, I'm gonna get a border pop. So I'll go up here then. Border pop should reveal most of this, I think. Yeah. 
Hey, there's a fish. Okay, well, we start with fishing. So, actually, a second city using this would be pretty good. Alright, turn 6, the animals are appearing. I'm gonna see if I can get some levels on this guy. Get him woodsman tool something. Then he can smack the hell out of barbarians for us. Okay, hello. Let's go, bro. Come north. Put on slow combat for the animals. Why not? Someone said last time on the live stream that it's pretty good on the early game for the very decisive battles. Here we go, boys. That's right, punk. Oh, farmers. Pray that your summers be wet. All right, we heal up. Mining. Okay, someone starts with mysticism. Good to know. Uh, we'll heal up again. Play it safe. All right. Hello, any panthers? Hello. Any bad kitties up here? No, maybe. Hello. Maybe over here? No, no bad kitties. Unfortunate. Oh, I got silk there. Yeah, I think I'll put my second city on this river somewhere. Maybe here, get an extra hill, like the coast, I don't know. Here is closer, and I can share four cottages as opposed to just two. So I'm almost tempted to say this is better, but we'll see. The man who moves a mountain begins by carrying away small stones. Ah, do I want to go barracks first? That's the question. I think what I'll do is I'll get a second warrior out first, and then go for a barracks. It's kind of weird, but... Uh, I want to explore a bit. <clears throat> like down here, might be something good there, there might be something good over here. This could be a floodplain river for all we know. And that's a fairly late Hinduism. So only one guy has mysticism, I think. Or someone sank 10 turns into Buddhism, missed it, and then went for Hinduism. It's possible. Where are the animals at, bro? I need XP. Come on, guys. No panthers, no nothing, man. Start mining the hills. Get a quick warrior out now, and then, yeah, barracks. Alright, I'm just gonna stay here. I want to keep this spot safe, because this is where archers start appearing. Archers start appearing, like, ten turns into the game on DT. On Immortal, I think it's about around 20 or 25. Um, I think it has something to do with the um, average number of AI cities because I did some tests. I did a um, little AI survivor game by myself with uh, a huge inland sea map on marathon speed and I watched half the AI die to barbarians. <laughs> But what was funny was, when the average number of cities dropped, like, really low because so many AI had died, the animals stopped disappearing and were roaming free at 500 AD. <laughs> so I think it has something to do with the average number of cities for that reason. 
The animals just stopped despawning and barbs stopped appearing once half the sieves had died. It was kind of hilarious to see animals, lions and bears roaming free around barb longbows and stuff. Very nice. <laughs> um, okay, so... Barracks. Yeah, I'll do barracks and another warrior or two. There's no real rush. Let's fortify our position here. So, yeah, this guy's going to check out the south. We've got this guy up here. I would have liked some more XP. I mean, it's possible someone else might rock up. But they're not making it easy, that's for sure, guys. Hello? Oh, hello. Barb Warrior. We'll keep this guy alive for a little bit. While I look around. Bronze working. Copper? Oh yes, two coppers. This is a little bit... <clears throat> out there, kind of. Uh, we need to kind of see if this has food. This would be a pretty good spot if it did have food. Do I want another mine? No, I think I will start chopping my forests now. Yeah. I want to chop these two and put cottages on them. Don't see a reason to go animal husbandry. Might keep this guy here. He's doing a good job and I'll send this guy with the extra promotion down here. He can smash. Uh, so where am I going to chop? Well, do I want the copper? I think I can do it with warriors. I mean, I've built a barracks and everything, so I'm going to say no to the copper for now. And I'm just going to get this warrior out. I might just go for a cheeky settler straight away. The barbs won't enter for another 20 turns. We have plenty of time to get this settler out. Grab that spot. Or that spot. Um, and then build up more warriors and defend and, and get the copper later on with the third city because I don't really see anywhere else to go even if this has no food I think I will still settle it maybe especially if I go like right here I could borrow the corn when I hit my happy cap I guess share some cottages I don't know we'll have to see Uh, but anyway, number two is probably going to go... I'd rather go here. I can settle this one turn earlier, actually. And yeah, sharing more cottages, I think, is going to help me in the early game. I cannot emphasize how important tile sharing is, dude. Because... Um... We're going to have a low happy cap. I see no happy resources anywhere nearby. My happy cap is going to be low until monarchy calendar. So I won't be growing past size 5. I'm going to need other cities to help me take the cottages until monarchy. I think, yeah, we do it like that. Keep this guy here, he's fog busting a pretty good area, he's got a nice defensive position. Good stuff. Yeah, we'll just go for pottery. Then chop out this bastard settler. What are my chances in a forest against the barbs actually? Where's the lion? Why can't I see the lion fight? I think it's supposed to be like 97% with combat 1, so I might not promote, then use the promotion to heal. 
so I can take another fight. Or did he leave the area, the little punk? <clears throat> okay, I could chop this, but um, I think I might go here, chop the settler, and then go up here and chop the boat in the second city. I think that's going to be better, so let's do that. Yeah, where did that warrior go? It was here not long ago. It's gone. Oh, hello. Yes, come come over here, bro. Fight me in the forest hill. Ah, oh, there's this guy. Right. Boy, I'd love to just club the bastard. <clears throat> but 68%. Well, if I want to unlock the heroic epic... I do need to take some risks like that. I could go shock, but that would lower my chan my XP gain. Oh, look at this. Hello, guys. I'm thinking I'm just going to pump out a bunch of warriors. I'd love to get the heroic epic unlocked. Oh, I don't have marble, do I? Not sure how wise that is. Maybe I should just play it safe. Hard to say. I could just get an axe and then chop out, chop up all the barbs with an axe. That could be good too. Oh yeah, we have a sheep here by the way. So this is actually, I could actually go here first. Huh. Well, I think this is going to give me much better commerce. I'll get a really early monarchy date if I go for this first. Just by working the fish and like two cottages, for example. Uh, I think I'll just put number three here. Do it for the commerce gain more than anything. Uh, I did give the barbs archery, but we're just lucky. They're spawning a lot of warriors. Could go worker next. Get a really quick, cheeky second worker, since I just got pottery. Skip hunting so I can build warriors at Monarchy, even with copper connected. Oh shit. Well? Oh, there's marble. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so I am a 1.3 plus 135%, 130%, I think, which puts me at nearly three I should have like 85% chance to win this fight but then again do I really need to be risking it no in fact if I kill him it's gonna make an archer spawn here almost guaranteed so I'm gonna actually just not risk it let's just be intelligent a little okay I have to be careful here if I chop this too early I I need to work this tile for three turns to get a boat. If I go here, then I set uh, here. I think I chop it one turn too quickly. So what I need to do is do this for one turn, then go into the forest and chop. I need to work that forest for three turns. I know this little hammer scenario, basically the situation. Three hammers per turn with the city and the forest. Boat needs ten hammers with the non-math chop to finish it, essentially. We're going to more husbandry for that, essentially. Maybe find horses. 
yeah, I'm gonna just be a little smart and actually just heal rather than take a 85% gambit. That could be 97% if I just heal. 1 XP regardless, so what's the point? I might try going combat. What does this do? I still get 3 XP if I win. I like that. Okay. That will help me against archers too. I'm gonna go like combat to cover and I don't know, try and kill a lot of barbs with that guy, maybe. Okay, now we can go in here. Work the... get the boat. Remember that we have a cottage here. A market, just to make sure. Getting a really quick worker out, so this guy can help the capital. And then we grow onto cottages to size 5. <clears throat> Should be good. My attack rate is quite decent. 16 beakers. I think this city is making me money. 3 beakers. It's only costing 2 gold. So that's nice. Lots of warriors. I thought I gave the barbs archery. Oh, they should have it by now regardless anyway. Just lucky. Alright bro, let's brawl. Come on. Oh wait. Shit. <laughs> Maybe that wasn't a good idea. I don't need a thing popping up here. Yeah, so now we get to nine hammers this turn, and then we chop it. Because Zach loses a hammer, right? But now I can work this because I have nine hammers already. And nine plus twenty-one is thirty. Boom. Alright, pump out a bunch of warriors. I don't care. And we're gonna cottage this guy. And then chop a settler, I think. Hello. Probably granary. Right, this guy can now push out, hopefully. Not sure what this guy wants. Alright, we have a fight here. Archer, yeah, we are getting archers. They're just far. Okay, we can do this. Oh, no, we can't. Okay. Two cottages finished at once. That's not good. But this guy can work it in two turns. It's okay. I guess to here, I'm stopping guys from the north getting to me. Or at least I'll be able to see them coming. Looks like there's more land up here. Not sure how much, but there's some land. No horses. Oh. Oh, he does it! Nice! I thought I was screwed there. Excellent! I don't know if a mine here is worth it. I'm gonna do it because I my mouse released the button for some reason. Nice. Um Right, one more dude. I'll probably pay money. That's alright. The mine is still a bit of a production boost when I'm building my settler, so yeah, I think I'll get the mine up. Probably writing next. I don't know if I'm ready to build libraries. Didn't do slavery yet, of course. That's alright. Hello. Should 
Shouldn't need to promote there. Shouldn't. Alright, cool, we're working this. We'll whip this granary later when I get into slavery. Fuck busting a lot of this east coast, which is nice. I'd like to swap these guys around actually, have the shitty guy stay in Kyoto. Alright, I'm paying money now. No, not, that's just maintenance. Cool. Yeah, models a lot more lenient with the unit cost. Bullcrap. Pretty early writing, but I'm not in any position to build a library yet, that's the thing. I wonder if I should almost go monarchy first. Well, no, that'll take forever without a library. Let's get the libraries up. Can go for one straight after I whip this granary in here, put hammers into it. Can't be a bad thing. Oh, I need to remember to um, go into slavery when that settler's moving. Saves two turns, very nice. More fog busting. No, I don't dare move off this hill. Got a nice bonus here. Cottage or what? Man, so close. I could work this for one turn to get him out faster. <laughs> I wonder if it's worth it. Maybe, honestly. <clears throat> uh, we can actually explore the coast. Okay, now where the hell um, was I gonna put this city? Okay, not creative, so I can't go here to get the marble, sadly. Um, it's not worth putting the food in second ring and building a monument for. I don't think the hill is that great. A lot of ocean and crap here. Here I can work the silk. But I still more tiles from the capital. It's, it might, it might be a little close to my capital having two cities three tiles away. Here is okay though, I can share three good cottage tiles. Get this tile, these forests here, get this forest here. Got a lot of forests in here. I think I'll do that. I'll destroy a forest, but here is kind of crap. I can't share any tiles. Here I get a nice core of tiles to work and some to share. Get the food and the copper in first ring. On the coast, I can build a caravel. Yeah, I like that spot. Now when is the bar brush starting? It's 2000 BC now. Do I want to road? Okay, if I road that I can jump straight here to the forest with the settler and get here one turn faster. It goes half, because it's not across a river. One and a half, one, uh, two. So then I stop here and then I walk here and settle. If I don't road at all, it's going to be one two, three. So I do this to save a turn. Effectively as good as a chop in terms of how fast the city gets settled. Oh, more land up there. Let me get to my river spot, bros. It's my fortification position. Alright, no fish here. Yeah, no. That's a crap spot, dude. I mean, long, long term, it's not bad. Settle on the stone, I guess. Work the pig, cut it down. Lake, lighthouse. Quite nice, but... For now, it sucks. That's for sure. More cottages for Osaka. 
kind of been neglecting that a bit, and I think I can, yeah, switch that over now. I think I'll ride this tile so the city's immediately connected to... Oh, hello. Let's fortify here. I'm not sure what that goes. Oh, I could try and get to the river. wonder if he's trying to go past. That doesn't make sense, so surely he would have gone this way if he's going for my city, like here. Yeah, maybe they're not beelining me yet until I plonk the next one. Let's ride this, though. Dude, what are you smoking? Oh, happiness, right. I think I'll take the hammer over the unimproved river tile for two turns. Yeah, they're not coming yet. Yeah, that's fog busted. I can go here. Fortify there. Can't move up anymore, or this can pop a dude on it. I need to remember. True glory consists in doing what deserves to be written, in writing what deserves to be written. While the set is moving. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Okay. Got a little bit of a fortification bonus. Um, something to note. I could actually go here. Just try and get a better chance. I might do that. Get the river bonus as well. It's possible there was another guy there, which would have been unfortunate, but unlikely. Because uh, I'm fog busting, he's fog busting. He's been here for a while. I think they're coming now, though. We need to maybe get more guys out. I think I'll try and chop out this library before I go for monarchy. Okay, good. <clears throat> I have a huge bonus here. Yeah! He does it! Aggressive, let's go! 15%, baby. Feeling a little exposed here, so yeah, more defenders are in order. I'm almost tempted to just get my freaking copper hooked up, actually. It's going good so far, but it won't last forever, I think. Especially once, like, spears and stuff appear. Let's push out and see. <clears throat> I might go road the copper. As crazy as that sounds. Roading the sheep is whatever. No, I think I'll just improve the copper first and get a chop out a quick axe. Or do I want this guy to help? No, it's a bit of a delay. Do I want another cottage? I've got three cottages between two cities, it's probably not enough. Masonry, no. Stuck going for monarchy. Nice. I'm brave. Really, dude? Alright, that guy's there in time. That's good. Let's put this down. They're definitely gonna beeline me now.
I'm going to delay that guy and be greedy. I'll get him out if we have trouble here. Start on my library. I don't want to pay money for him. And he can get here pretty quickly. He can go boom, boom, boom. So I can react in time. I want to focus on my attacking. I think I've fog busted the north. Doesn't seem to be much else going on up there. I haven't seen a single unit, so... Maybe they can't spawn up there. Maybe that's that's all we have. Who knows? It could be islands or something instead. Which means barbed galleys, yikes. But not yet. Should have cancelled that road and switched it to a mine. Oh well. Stonehenge, pretty late. Oh nice, I just did a huge amount of fog busting here. Yeah, the bombs have been pretty tame actually. And I'll say that and us two spears will appear next turn. But no, it's looking alright. So yeah, no hunting, therefore I can still build warriors at monarchy, that's important. Okay, we have a warrior, that's fine. Take him out. I'm fog busting everything. A huge warning for incoming bastages. Hello, we have a cottage. I will whip it next turn when the food bar's at half. Get to work the tile for an extra turn, but I won't be any slower growing back, I think. Not sure if I should whip this. I think no, I'll just chop it. Save two turns if I chop again. Get it in five. That way I can keep the population. Yeah, I don't want to whip, really, because there's ten turns of unhappiness, which means I'm stuck at size four for ten turns. Um, and I don't have a granary. It's just... Nah, I think I just chopped that library, really. So far so good with the Barbarians. I've killed like an archer and a bunch of warriors, I think. Three warriors, two archers and a lion, yeah. Not sure how much further the continent goes, but that's what the axe is for. He can go explore. <clears throat> uh, Alright, where can I chop? I could chop here, which puts me in position to help out in this city. So I like that idea. I can go chop here, then go bang bang, help with the sheep real quick. This guy's gonna chop an axe first, and then we'll hook, all hook up the sheep together. Wait for the library, then we push to monarchy. Okay, let's whip this guy. I don't want to work the cottages, I want to get the library up, I think, first. Then I can work cottages or run scientists or whatever, that's fine, but library first. I think. Yeah. The library's gonna give me four beakers per turn. And enabled me to run scientists. The cottages are about four beakers per turn right now as well. Now yeah, just let this guy grow back and work them. Should be okay. Alright, start on the library here too. That's nice. Okay, we're online. Axe, really quick. I'm gonna chop it. I think this tile's better than this anyway, even if I'm gonna go for a granary. Yeah, it rather work this than the sheep. Let's just do that until the sheep is hooked up. Okay, we have another dude coming. I think I can go here. No holes yet. Assuming that's just one tile there, which could be a stupid assumption. Just hold on, guys, until we get reinforcement. We're actually going to grow into shite here soon. But when the library finishes, I run two scientists. Uh, now, do I want to get more cities? Yes. 
I think, up here, really, until I have iron working. But I'm going monarchy first. I'd rather grow my capital than settle crappy jungle cities. Let's say right here. Get this, get a monument, get the copper, can get a library, work a river cottage here with iron working. It won't be too bad long term, but not something to rush for. I think libraries for now is fine. I think I'll do the settler here because I'm going to run scientists here. Get my early academy up. Okay, bro, I kind of need you to fight me. Boom. Library's up. Exactly 90 hammers. That's why I didn't want to ditch the mines. Could try to grow really quick, then I can work this tile permanently while getting more food. Because I have enough hammers pretty much now. Yeah. Let's do that then. Yeah, don't touch me, bro. Bro? Aggressive voice feels really good in the early game. Alright, now both guys hook up the sheep straight away as we grow, so that's perfect. Do I want this guy? I'm gonna have to pay for him. Yeah, but he will help with the fog busting. It's not a bad idea. In fact, I'll do it like that, because you're actually unable to grow for a little bit. Maybe I should do that, really. I don't want to settle that city until monarchy, though, really. Like, what's the benefit? I can start going for it now, though. Paying nothing. Can tech like a bastard. 40 beakers for almost no cost. What's the benefit of staying small? Maybe I'll grow to size 4. I think I'll work the cottages and then grow onto the mine and then the mine will speed it up. Right, and yeah, as I grow, the pasture finishes, so that's perfect. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, give me one minute. Alright, um, okay. Yeah. Let's play to monarchy, and then uh, we'll take a break. I think staying small is key here because outside of my capital and these two cities, the land is pretty crap. Let's be real. No nothing. Alright. And yeah, monarchy is going to empower our capital, so we need to start getting these guys out now so I can start growing. And then I need to get my granary up. I didn't pay money for this guy. Very low expenses, it's nice. I can put this warrior in here actually. Probably pay for him, but that's okay. We're flying through the tech. So I could do the astronomy bulb thing and skip thingo, but this is no tech trade. I like to go for Oxford, honestly. In no tech trade, civil service Oxford, I'd rather build up my empire. Even as Tokugawa, I have a good capital. I have stone for Oxford, I even have marble, so going for wonders and stuff is not out of the question. And you know, I've, I could go for a calendar and get mausoleum if I want to grab this marble somehow. Not sure how I'm going to get the marble. Yeah, maybe I should have gone here or here. Here and tried to get a border pot, but oh well. Uh, check for fish, I guess, with the axe. Yeah, could make a Mazalima Mazalos play though. Usually doesn't go too early on Immortal. I mean, everything else has been going really late, so... Yeah, can pull off a 1 AD Mazalim pretty easily, I think. We'll see how it shapes up. Uh, 
Alright. Um, I'll hook this up while I'm here, then I can jump to this Taiwan cottage on the same turn. It doesn't really cost me any time to build this road. Technically. Alright, we need to grow next turn. Oh, hey, there is something there. Okay, I think I'll go here and chop a monument for that marble then. Simple. Nice. Yay, that works out. Alright, let's cottage this really quickly. I might have to finally pay for units now, we'll see. Yep. Oh well. Gotten away with a lot so far. No well what leads you forward and what holds you back. And I forgot to grow. Whoops. Too distracted. Whoops. This guy will take that in three turns. Keep this guy here. Oh, there's quite a bit of land. Yeah, building some roads won't hurt. Not sure if I really want to chop that granary, I might just whip it. Upon you and give you peace. I think I'll try and get the scientist a bit quicker. Uh, next turn, we swap that over. Well, maybe this is better. This is a lot of food in the long run. Hmm. You could argue I should have been doing that the whole time. I think I should go chop this settler more than anything. Yeah, then I can get to the spot one turn faster as well. What should you do? Cottage for Tokyo, close to monarchy now. The granary will finish naturally. Very quiet over here, guys. We have a mountain range. Interesting. Might need more guys to actually fog bust all this. It's a big island. Yeah, I think I'd rather work the mines. I don't know. Well, if I'm gonna chop the settler, I don't think I need to work the mine then. Maybe for one more turn and I can shave off another turn on it, I think. Six. Okay, 72? No, 62. Uh, which is... 10 sixes plus two. Or oh, I could do nine sixes plus eight. Yeah, so one turn of this and then switch to that and then chop. Wait, no, I'm going to be chopping though. Let me do some math here. <clears throat> no, I think I can do this, right? I need... I think the chop will save four turns. Four. Yeah, I think I'm fine. Just go chop, bro. Monarchy in eight. The settler will be in seven or something. And then, yeah, put him here. Go sailing next. Need to get this granary somehow. After the scientist, I just work the mines and power build it, I guess. Don't need to whip if I'm working the mines. Yeah, the mines are paying off. It's a very late Great Wall. Giving me some confidence I can build more wonders. 
think after chopping that I root this up actually that I don't need sailing. Go iron working first. Get the pig, chop the jungle. Have to think about more settlers, but I can build settlers in here. This is a good pumper spot, I can chop them. Expand up to like six cities once I have monarchy, I think. Okay, that's nice. Good library. Oh, now that's an interesting thought. Well, let's get fail goal at the very least. I should have gone for that earlier, maybe. <laughs> no oracle yet, right. We can give it a go. I might need to get my, another worker here somehow. I'll, I'll just start chopping. I've got three forests I can put into it. And I've got one strong tile. I can work that as well. Yeah, you know what? Let's, let's give it a go. We will give it a go, guys. The Oracle. I can get Code of Laws with it. That'll save me a lot of time and effort. Metal casting. Metal casting and build the Colossus? Question mark? I've got Copper. Can get a Forge in here. <laughs> yeah. That'd be interesting. I mean, the Colossus will pay off. It's not like I'm going to get astronomy early. 1000 AD, that's like 60 turns of plus, I don't know, 5 to 10 commerce a turn. Like a thousand beakers or something. And merchant points. Yeah, screw it. I put points into the oracle then. Yeah. Wanna work this maybe. Uh does it really help? Not really. It doesn't change my date too much. Chop here, chop here, then chop here. <laughs> It'd be funny if I got that. Could try whipping a uh, something into it. Axe. But even then, it'll just be fail gold as well if I don't get it, which is also fine. Get me to calendar faster. Oh, hello. Hello, are you looking to get chopped up, good sir? Seems you are. Let's stand there. Oh, a barb town, okay. Nice, yeah, that saved four turns. That was worth it. Could also whip a worker into it. Would help a little bit, but m more so it would let me chop all the forests a bit quicker. So I might do that. Yeah, and I think I'll road this place up. Right, and then I need to get a... I think I three pop whip a library into a boat, actually. Put hammers into the boat, grow, with monarchy. And then, yeah, three pop whip into the boat. Because I've already got 23 out of 90. Big overflow if I don't put any more into it and go over 30. That's how I'll get the boat. I think it's quicker than trying to get one in here. That's not going to happen, you know. So yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Yeah, that works out pretty nice. And we can grow fast here. We already have a granary. So let's just start roading this then. We might get more guys pop up here. We just need to watch out. I'd have to pay for that, sadly. I can explore on the bright side. Okay, it's time to grow.
Time for everybody to grow. Because we're getting monarchy now. And academy's lining up pretty well with that. 900 BC, monarchy and academy. Pretty good start, just by staying small. But I got my fourth city out just after 1000 BC, so it's not terrible expansion. Um, and I've got good cities that can pump out settlers and get more. Plus we're going to get a heap of either fail gold or a free tech, so... Yeah, next session will be interesting. I'm going to take a break here though, it's been pretty much an hour. Um, and I want to play this well, so yeah. See you guys soon.